how much you can hear me. It's absolutely hurling it down with rain. Well, I say absolutely hurling. It's, it's, it's wet. Bit of standing water. But here's a top tip for you. If you're on the motorway and you don't feel confident to drive faster than 30 mile an hour, get the fuck off and go home. Because you're a fucking danger and a moving hazard. I've already encountered uh, two or three of them in the short distance between Southampton and Winchester already. Unbelievable. It's like you're not going to dissolve. At least do 50, you know? The road conditions are okay for that. But 30, 35, I mean, that that is just sheer dangerous lunacy. So anyway, it's Sunday. We're pushing hard this week, I tell you. Pushing hard. Speed on. I was nearly two hours on the docks this morning. I couldn't believe it. There was nothing happening down there. I had to get two empties off, which was in exactly the same slot. So that, and they came within seconds of each other. So that wasn't an issue. But getting the loaded box on, oh my word. I don't know where it was on the docks, but I reckon they went down a, went down to Dover to pick it up. At one stage, there was there was only at any one point four or five trucks on the whole of my in my area. <clears throat> and at one point, I was the only one there for 15 minutes with no one else around me. And eventually, two others turned up, and then I got serviced. <coughs> And she's got a fair bit of weight behind her. She's fucking heavy. As you can tell. Crawling up this hill. But I'd rather have a bit of weight on in these weather conditions. Because with this sort of weight, you ain't going to aquaplane. You're just going to play straight through it. So yeah, we've got to, from uh, start to finish, it's just over 250 mile we've got to do today. So a bit of a mission. Nice little drive on a Sunday. We've got the reverse thrusters on. Always a bit twitchy about using them in the wet, but we've got a bit of weight, so. We shouldn't get any locks. I'm hoping the weather dries up a little bit for me. I've had this, we stripped the truck out on Saturday because I'm getting my new one on Monday, tomorrow. So uh, the gorgeous Kira come across. I got back down to the yard about five o'clock. I had a couple of hours of kit. Kira turned up about 8 o'clock, um, kindly helped me um, empty the truck out, so I've just got a bare minimum in with me. So hopefully I won't need anything that I've left behind. Sod's law, I'll need it. But I found a whole load of ratchet straps. I didn't even realise I'd forgotten about those. I'd already dumped some out of the truck already, but I had another four or five of them. And we don't use ratchet straps. The only reason I got a couple was the, the um, if you get a door that can't close, or a broken door, or anything like that on the on the on the on the box, you can ratchet strap them shut. So you only need one or two, but I had about four or five, and I'd already dumped four or five out. We only got about three metres lengths worth of strap, but the, well, I, I tipped one day, and um, they were used for holding uh, wheels or drums of cable into the uh, into the box, and uh, they were taking them off, and they were just putting them in a bin. 
in a wheelie bin. I said, what are you doing there? He says, oh, we got hundreds of these, so, you know. And I said, well, you've thrown them away? Yeah, I said, well, do you mind if I have some? He said, fill your boots, mate. Have as many as you want. So I took probably about a dozen of them. Now, they're about 15, 20 quid a throw, these, these straps and um, hooks. I know they've only got about three metres worth of length on it, so it's no good for... second exit. It's no good for, uh, you know, um, like if you're working on a flatbed or something. <clears throat> but, um, you know, for trailers and strapping loads into a van or anything like that, absolutely ideal. Take the second exit towards A33. Please remain in Stockbridge. Oh, no fuck with her, so we're good. So we're going to break the journey up a bit. I'm going, to, I'm going to get out to Cherwell Valley and take a little 45 in there. And then we're going to go up a little bit further up. And uh, get a 15 in. Just so I've got a pee break. Because I know what will happen. I'll get up there. Because I have done it. I'm going to the same place as I normally stop. Just outside of Hull. And um, I'll be, by the time I get there, I'll be absolutely bursting for a pee. So uh, I don't want to get caught out. And it's not good to hold it in. Look at the water here. Plenty of it. Whoosh. Uh, but they're all going slow. Let's see what happens here. Trouble is I can't I can't over I'm too heavy. I'm too, or too much. Tend to be a little bit slow on the hills. Then my sat nav just went off. I thought, oh my word, that's died of death. What's happened there? But it's alright, it wasn't plugged in. That's why it died of death. The battery lasts a long time though. Quite surprising. So anyway, on this um on this new truck, we've got built in um, Tom Tom, so uh, sat nav will be slightly redundant. Thing is, I know where I'm going here. Yeah? I don't even need a need a sat nav at all. The only thing it's useful for on the on a journey where you know where you're going is for traffic updates <clears throat> so it's going to be a, a it's not going to be the speediest journeys up I'm in no uh, I'm in no particular rush I've got plenty of time to do it in I've got to be tipping at 7 o'clock tomorrow morning so uh, and I'll be parking up less than an hour away from where I need to tip and it looks an easy place to get in and out of. But happy days. Um, easy run up, easy money, innit? Gotta be done. Gotta be done. So I'll be off next weekend. Um, gonna take the gorgeous Kira out for dinner. We've already arranged where we're gonna go. So that's good. And, uh, yeah, have a good weekend. Good weekend. The downside to clearing the truck out is I've removed me, I've got a fitty carpet in my truck. Not one of these, like, um, eco leather things that they, you know, like the quilted ones that you see. Uh, I've, it was a proper proper carpet mat and I bought it off a mate um, he was selling this because he was going out of a he was going out of a muck and he said if I wanted it I could have it for 20 quid they're fairly they're pretty expensive new to be honest and uh, I thought yeah no that'd be good it goes it's fitting all the way across it's not in you know because in the in the across there's a there's a little one in the middle 
just in front of the bed, and the rest of it is there's no garbage. So um, I put put it in, and it fits right all the way around, totally fitted all the way around the cab. It's really nice. Um, but I took it out, so I don't know if it's going to fit the new truck or not. I don't know what the um, footprint of the um, cab is like. I'm, I'm pretty certain it's the same. I don't think it's changed, but. I can't be sure of that, and I didn't want to take it with me in case it wasn't the same. And I've got a rolled up big old mat lurking about in the truck for a few days. So um, I'll wait until uh, it's in the boot of the car at the moment. I'll wait until I um, get it back at the weekend, and then I'll uh, hoover it completely clean, clean, and then fit it back in the new truck. See if it fits. If not, I might have to invest in a in a new mat. It makes a difference. Probably it's one of those quilted ones that you see, all look really nice, but you know, some of the places we go into are a bit shitty. I don't want to get it that dirty, I don't want to get it dirty. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. So anyway, I'm going to shut up for a bit, and um, I've only got a bit of coffee left, I've drunk most of it. I might have to stop a bit earlier and brew some up. We'll see. Might have to take a 15, brew some coffee, and then when I go out to Chilworth Valley, I've only got half an hour to take. Yeah, I might have to do that. I'll see how I go. See if I can uh, last it out. 12.21. Coming up for lunchtime. Yeah, I might have to do that, I'll get, a, get some of the wheat as well. We'll see. Anyway, I'm going to crack on. I'll speak to you all either later or maybe tomorrow once I've got my new truck. So things are going to be out of sequence. Um, I knew this might happen. So I've already got, so if you're watching this now, right this very second, I've already got the new truck and you've already seen that. So I'm time travelling, so I'm talking from the future backwards. I'm time travelling. Yeah. I've just confused myself now. Anyway, I'm going to shut up. Pictures later. Hello! We're nearly there! My blood has held out. I did stop at Woodall. So we're good to go. We're coming off here. So uneventful journey really. No drama llamas. I only came across one accident and that was back on the A43, there was about three cars that decided to go into the back of each other, but uh, it was just little taps, one much. Area. There's a 
big old Amazon building down here. First time Take I came down here. Exit onto Monksway West. I went down there. I had to do a little uh, <laughs> reversing. Not what you needed. So we're gonna get held up by the train. And if we are, which way is it gonna come from? Is it gonna go left to right or right to left? Will we get stopped by the train? Bet's on. Stopped or go? Come on. Turn left at the roundabout. Stop or go. The first exit. get through I don't know what that is coming towards me but it's lights fucking bright the bloke on a bike okay so it's a go Let's slow down a bit oh, oh, oh. Getting out. Right now, you don't want to be missing the sign down here. You have reached your destination on the left. I have, thank you very much. We're going the right way, does it? For those who haven't seen this before. It looks well dodgy. Oh, it's looking like we've got to go into submarine mode. Raise the periscope. We're going in deep. Look at that. Fucking hell, Mr. Zulu. Get that periscope up. It's not too bad. But I missed the potholes, amazingly. And it's more or less stopped raining, which is just as well because I've got to put the lock on the back of the box. Not to blind anyone. Oh, where's he going? There you go. Well done, my friend. Let's see what we got down here. Come on, on we come, on we come, on we come. That's it. There you go. Ooh, it's looking like there's a bit in here. Uh, oh my word! Okay, let's just see what we got here. Uh, Oh, 
I don't think there's any room at the inn. Because of the way they're parked really badly. Uh, oh, that's not too good. Okay, right, plan B, speak to you in a bit. <laughs> 